Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. Nah, 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 Monday. <laughs> and Little Pink Princess Dragon. Oh, we're doing a different kind of mask today. Yes, we are. Today is Becky's Choice from uh, Becky's Empty Nest, which I think is like a most ingenious name for a, you know, um, YouTube channel, like, yeah, okay, no, Glam Girl's good, Glam Girl's good, but I think Becky's empty nest as cute as it can be. So, guys, if you want to see what, you know, Becky sent for everybody this week, please stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Ooh, so, what we have here is a chocolate self-eating clay mask from Miss Spa. Not sure where this came from, but you know, you can always Google it and, um, you know, find out. Becky, this is different. Kind of cool. Let's whip out the glasses because we be blind, old lady. Hey, prep your face by gently washing and patting dry with a towel. Okay. Open pouch and apply mask to face in a thin, even layer, avoiding eyes and lips. Uh, turn off the phone and close your eyes for 20 minutes. Daydream about being queen. Cute, but no. <laughs> so, 20 minutes. Remove mask by rinsing face with water. Pat dry. Hello, gorgeous. Okay, so, 20 minutes and rinse. All right, I guess the proper thing to do would have been to have like maybe a plate. Oh, it smells cocoa-y. And there it's coming out. See it there? And just like squirt it all out on a plate. Okay, a thin layer. Okay, it's kind of the color of cocoa. Um, consistency is a little bit, like, pasty, should I say? Huh, okay. These are not generally my favorite types of masks, but you know, the whole cocoa thing and holy cow, it does smell like cocoa. This would be great for like December and January. I mean, it's cooling off a little bit down here, but you know, for like when it's really cold and you got a morning that you know, a weekend morning or something that you're just going to kind of lounge and spa yourself a little bit. I do believe there's enough in there for another treatment. Make sure you get inside all them wrinkles. Okay, I was thinking I was going to put, um, there we go, I was thinking I was going to put my, uh, mask on over top of it, but this is not, like, runny at all, so I don't think I need to do that. Okay, so let's see what time is it. I already know how many minutes we are into this. Really? Okay. So at like 24. Ooh. 
So, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, allergies are going crazy. What about you guys? Anybody else having some problems with allergies this year? Like, you know, since everything is getting a little dry and going to seed. Ooh, have I started sneezing? And you know, <laughs> with this COVID thing, every time you sneeze, everybody turns around and looks at you like they're expecting you to, you know, fall to the floor and go into convulsions or something. You know, <laughs> it's like, yikes. So, yeah, um... Cutting the hours back at work. I don't know what is with these people. Well, it's a corporate. It's a corporation. It's not a franchise, which means that, um, like in a franchise, a person or whatever, you know, can buy into it. So, like, McDonald's generally has an owner, you know. Um, now they have to abide by all of the franchise rules and by the things provided by the franchise but um you know it's you know and they, and they they pay for that i i don't know if it's annually or what but they pay for the privilege of owning a store with the mcdonald's name on it you know um mcdonald's uh dollar general I know that those two are at least franchised. Um, evidently, Little Caesars is not. Or at least not the Little Caesars in our area. It's just like regional, you know, but it belongs to a corporation. So basically, any big decisions, you know that are made about it are not coming from an owner and there's not there there's not like an owner that's going to come to the store and see how things are going or you know come for a day and check it out you know no it's it's run by a corporation yikes you know really corporation you know corporations care about one thing and that's making money um, I, you know, we're, we're closed on Sunday. I mean, they don't necessarily make the best decisions. We're closed on Sunday, but Monday is the day that we're dead. You know, I'm like, y'all should have been open on Sunday and closed on Monday because it's ridiculous. Or you should close on Monday too because it's not even as dead as we are on Monday it's not even keep, worth keeping the store open on Monday. It, that's or just have it open at lunchtime or something. It's like ridiculous. But <clears throat> I ain't gonna say shit because I don't want my hours cut no more. Um, yeah, they cut everybody's hours back. Uh, we're we're all pretty much at the same. There's three of us, you know, the three dweebs that. We're getting like 28 hours, which I've already explained to them that I can't do less than 30. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this works out. But, um, you know, I mean, I, I can do it off of that. But, yeah, you know, things are going to start getting a little crisp. So, we'll see. But they're still, like, gung-ho on hiring another person. And the only reason they're gung-ho on hiring another person is because they want to open on Sunday. Well, they could open on Sunday. Just give us the, you know. I mean, you got two full-time people that are working 28 hours. Give them, you know, they could definitely come in. Give them the fucking, you know, the day and open it up on Sunday, you know. Um, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. That would be cheaper Paying two people for, or even, you know, one per, three people, even if all three of us came in, paying us an extra fucking ten hours or nine hours a day, whatever, would still be cheaper than hiring another employee. And the thing is, you're kind of in the boat if somebody gets sick, which Alex tends to do a lot, but I'm just like... I, to me, I'm looking at wh what's happening here is hiring another employee is like 
you just want to like shoot down the rest of us. It's not about, you know, it's about you making money and not about us getting help, you know? Um, <clears throat> so I'm suddenly not into them hiring any more help. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I'm not putting that out there anymore. Um, you know, and this is why when you are shopping, you know, you should try, especially now the way things are, you should try to use like franchises that belong to actual humans and, you know, home-based family stores and stay away from the corporate stores. Because trust me, the corporations are going to survive. Even if they closed every single damn store, corporations own more than one store. They're still going to survive, and later on, they'll open that store back up again. Corporations will survive. Um, businesses that are owned by, or, you know, family businesses, or franchise, you know, th they're not going to survive. If they have to close, that's it. They don't have some other avenue to withdraw from. You know, they're, they're done. So, really, I encourage people to... Find out, you know, is this a franchise or is it corporate? And if it's corporate, you know, wait until things get a little better and then go back and enjoy your corporation, you know. But of course, keep in mind that what they do to the employees, corporate, they also do to their ingredients. So God only knows what you're eating. Because, um, you know, the cheapest, the cheapest bid wins, okay? Um... You know, we're like the, the family pizza place that maybe costs a little bit more, but they actually have like tables and chairs and have fresh vegetables on their, you know, like real food on their pizzas. I don't even want to tell you. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're we're basically the fast food of pizza. We're worse than Domino's because like at least Domino's delivers, right? <clears throat> we're totally, you know... Walk in and get it, and if you have a special order, then, you know, we make it up, but it's ready fairly quickly, you know. that That's like McDonald's, okay? <laughs> and we put out a tip jar, which I find to be ridiculous because I think tips should be for people like wait staff that do not make minimum wage, you know. I mean, they make... They don't have to, restaurants don't have to pay wait staff and bus staff the same amount of money as everybody else because supposedly they're making it up in tips, you know, which to me is like stupid, but okay. It's always been that way. It's always, I actually had waitress jobs where they didn't have to pay us at all because you made tips. Like, what? You know? Um... You know, so we put out a tip jar, and we get, like, maybe 5 or $10 a week in tips, which I got to tell you really helps out a lot, but I do find it to be a little bit insulting to the customer to, you know, walk into a place that people are making at, at least minimum wage um, and, you know, expect it to leave a tip. Now, on the other hand, I, I don't know, there, there's just so many different, there's so many different scenarios. Uh, like, you know, you could live on minimum wage if you're by yourself. But once you have children, if you're not like a trained, skilled person that can get a job that you're making $25 an hour, <clears throat> you can't, you can't possibly support a wife and a child. And if you both have to work, that means the child has to go to daycare. Or, you know, maybe you're lucky enough to have family that will watch that child for nothing. They're yay, you know. But if you have to pay for daycare, <clears throat> daycare is like, you know, $175, $200 a week. And that's like if you can find it for that because it, it runs a lot more. You know, and you're making, let's say, $10 an hour, and you're working, say, 30 hours a week, which most of these businesses don't let you get full-time unless you're, like, you know, in ma in management. Um, 
you know, they, um, <laughs> you're barely making enough to pay for daycare, much less, you know, pay for a place to live, a mortgage, an apartment, whatever, you know, a car payment. I mean, I can see all this because I know what we have to deal with and we don't have a car and a car payment and, you know, full coverage insurance. Oh my God, there's no way. There's no way. If I had to pay full coverage insurance on a car, I, I couldn't do it. You know, I would have to buy a used car for cash and pay the state mandatory insurance on it. But then what happens is the damn car breaks down and you're still screwed, you know? So, like, there there's no owning a car in my near future. Um, I'm really thinking about... I'm really thinking about going the motorcycle route so that, you know, if Jake and I wanted to go into Gainesville or something, you know, I mean, it would widen my horizon a little bit. Um, and then, you know, say if I actually had the time and the money both at the same time and wanted to take like a vacation and go somewhere, you know, I can, you can always rent a car. Renting a car to make a journey in my opinion is probably a really good idea if you know if you're running from a reputable source um because say you're out and about say you're halfway you know to where you're going so you're in timbuktu somewhere you don't know anybody you're you know and your car breaks down you are at the mercy of whatever you know, garages are in the area, they see them out of state tags, they, they, yeah, you're, you're, bye-bye vacation, you know, um, lucky if you get home in time to go back to work, right, where if you have a rental car and it breaks down, they need to bring you another car, and that rental is their problem, you know, um, so yeah, there's, there's, you know, there's some serious benefits to that whole rental thing. Um, and if it's, you know, like a big place, like, I don't know, it hurts or something. And I know we're talking about like corporate, blah, blah, blah. But if you're going someplace far, you need to make sure that they have stores, you know, between and where you're going. So that if something does happen to that car that you're driving, there's a store that you can, you know, you call your store but there's somebody not far away you know that's connected with that company they can you know bring you a car in a decent amount of time and you're not sitting somewhere for like you know half a day um yeah okay this is kind of warming it's not like heated though it's just it's just like warm cocoa I feel like I need a little whip topping to kind of go on the forehead here. <laughs> a little whip topping, yeah. So, it's not like, um, it's not like clay mask dry. It's, it's still sticky and pasty and, you know, let me get up a little closer so you can see. Yeah, see, it's not really drying per se, it still smells really yummy, like really, really yummy, so, so anyways, I don't have to be to work at 10, <coughs> today, <coughs> I do have to be to work at 11, so, you know, they, they cut me off an hour there, um, fine, I'm gonna roll with it, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna whine, but I'm not going to out and out complain. I'm just going to make sure that, you know, she knows that I'm like, dude, you know, <laughs> I get, I get, you know, these other two, they have partners and mothers to, you know, support their asses. I, you know, I get under 30 hours and shit starts getting scary for me. So, um, you know, yeah, you know, um. You know, and, but I'm not going to do it like every day kind of shit. I just want her to know that I need the hours, but, um, 
you know, I'm not planning on, I mean, at this point, I'm not planning on putting in more applications and shit. I really want this to be the last fucking job that I have. I want to have some place that I can fucking just, this is it. <laughs> this is it, you know, write it out. Um, so I don't know. It does not taste like hot chocolate. <laughs> I had to. I had to. I hope there's nothing in there too obnoxious. But yeah, it does not taste like hot chocolate. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Um. Yeah. So what's going on with you guys? Like, seriously. Christmas. Like, it's not even Halloween yet. And... Christmas is all around us, and they're saying that because of the, uh, you know, the lack of drivers, you know, um, et cetera, that if you wait till December to mail out Christmas gifts, they ain't going to get there by Christmas. So, I'm going to start mailing stuff out in November, um, you know, because they're just like, no, there's, there's not enough drivers. So even if they have the trucks, they don't have the drivers. Um, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. Like, have you started your Christmas shopping? You know, I used to love going out, like, on Christmas Day. <laughs> well, not Christmas Day. Christmas Eve Day. And hitting all that last minute shit, you know. But, yeah. No. Not no more. Uh, yeah, of course, everything's online now, too. Um, so if they don't sell it in the store, they can sell it online. <laughs> Who cares? You know, so much for the, the sales you used to be able to get. But, uh, yeah. Christmas. I am, I have a couple of things ordered. I, I don't know what, to, well, I do. I think I'm. I think in the next few weeks I'm going to get, you know, Jake's stuff, but, um, his birthday is also New Year's Eve, which makes it like I have to have two nice things for him, you know, um, so I think, I think I'm going to get him a new jacket, because the one he has is just scruffy and old and gross and you know, and, uh, you know, if I can scrounge up the money, I'm going to get him something nice, you know, um, and he wears this jacket, like, in the summertime, like, he wears that jacket all the fucking time, and it's like, you know, if it's cold in the morning, he's going to be wearing that jacket all day long, even if it gets hot in the afternoon, he just, you know, that's, that's how that works, you know, um, yeah, <laughs> so there's that, that, that's for, you know, one thing, either Christmas or his birthday, but, you know, and then I gotta think of something else, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, a. I don't know, I got him some shirts last year, like a pair of gloves, and a hat, you know, I, I, I kind of like, okay, I can't do that again this year, so, I don't know, when we go to Walmart, I, I kind of try to watch to see where he goes and what he's looking at, but it's, it's just movies, he just, you know, he just buys into the movies, maybe I'll get him, like, check out some, uh, some new releases or something and see if there's something that he might you know because those the shit you're talking 25 to 50 bucks for a damn movie you know but if it's for a gift uh, you know the rest of the year i'm like yeah red box you know <laughs> but if it's for a gift you know well maybe not right i don't know i don't know so yeah where's that 
I don't know. Do you have, like, anybody that has a birthday and Christmas real close together? I was, like, mine is the 30th of this month. And even being in October, my parents would still try to lump, you know, Christmas and my birthday together. And, which meant that I did get some cool stuff, you know, because you get maybe one gift, but, like, it's a bigger gift, you know, um, but it was just, I don't know, and I never complained about it, but it was just kind of like, yeah, you know, it's, it's, you know, so you get some little trinkets for your birthday, and then at Christmas you get the good thing, or, you know, for your birthday you get the good thing, and then at Christmas you get some little trinkets. And, I don't know, October is just too far away from Christmas. Trinkets don't cut it for two months. Not to a kid. Maybe once you're a grown-up, but not to a kid, you know? Two months is a lifetime to a child, you know? It's like, what do you mean this is all I get? And then, you know, Christmas, which is like ages away, <clears throat> You know, um, yeah. The older you get, the faster it goes. But, yeah. Yeah, Christmas is, um, you know, so do you have, like, and what do you do? Do you buy, like, one gift for both holidays? And maybe a few little trinkets, so, you know? Or do you, like, separate the two, you know, so that Christmas is Christmas and, you know... You know, and then there's the whole thing about Christmas. Like, <clears throat> are you a Christian? No, that, that's not what I want to say. If you're not a Christian, why do you celebrate Christmas? Like, what, what are you even doing, you know? <clears throat> oh, well, it's about the presents. Well, no, it's not. Um, I don't see anybody... There, there's, like, no other holiday that... Everybody else celebrates because they want to get the presents. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not a Christian, why are you even celebrating Christmas to begin with? You know? Um, and I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, so, where are we at here? You know, and how do you feel about Christmas? Are you like, it's all about, you know, it's all about the the presents and, and getting the kids presents? Or, you know, are you instilling into your children that, no, this is not about presents. This is about giving presents. It's not about getting presents. It's about giving presents because Jesus gave his life for us and this is you know for us to be giving in honor of that you know it's not about getting shit because if you if you think it's just about getting stuff you ain't celebrating christmas you're just spending money that's all you're doing in my in my honest opinion <laughs> Of course, everybody wants their kids to have, you know, stuff that they didn't have. But if they don't appreciate where it came from, you know, then you end up with adults that don't appreciate. And it, that's kind of a scary thing to think about, that type of people running our world, you know, in, in another 20 years or so. So, uh, I think it's time to wash this mask off. Okay. Comes off like, I'll tell you, a lot easier. <laughs> I'm just wiping it off with a damp, you know, a damp rag. And um, I'm telling you, this comes off a lot easier than a clay mask. So that's nice. I don't have to spend, you know, hours trying to get it off without, you know, getting it in my eyes or my mouth. Uh, it still smells really good. 
really good. So we left it on for about 20 minutes. Okay, and it's not like, like it didn't discolor at all, which was kind of, you know, one of the things I was thinking was like, well, if you have really light skin, you know, and this is because cocoa will, cocoa will leave a stain now, but um, no, this isn't really doing anything like that. You know, it's wiping off completely. All right. Um, actually, let's take a look here and see. Um, ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Glycerin. Menth, menthol propanadol, which is probably what gives it that warming effect. Kaolin, zeolite, okay, a few things. Cocoa, okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Cocoa is number five on the list. And a lot of stuff that I can't pronounce. Um, plus fragrance, fruit extract, fruit powder. Alcohol, sterile, S-T-E-A-R-Y-L, stay, stay raw, alcohol, um, yeah, and then, you know, like, tons of stuff that I can't pronounce, but, um, yeah, so, when I purchase this, um, no, I really like my sheet masks. Um, this was fun to try. It does feel, you know, kind of soft. Like, what was the claims on this to begin with? Packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and fatty acids that help your skin look its best. Okay, so it's supposed to repair and soothe. Okay. Well, I do feel like it did that. You know, my angry places are, are feeling, you know, nice. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it was fun. Um, it's not, like I said, I really like a sheet mask. Just, you know, it's so much simpler. And I really like hydration type stuff. So, um, not something that I would personally go out and buy, but I did enjoy trying it out, and I do have enough to, you know, use it again probably tomorrow morning. So, thanks, Becky. Awesome. And I'll see you in the playlist. You guys, playlist is below. Make sure that, you know, you check it out, because I know other girls had other experiences with this mask. So, depending upon your skin type, you know, you may really enjoy this. Yeah, check out the playlist and, you know, see how, how everybody does. And until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing. Wake up dancing. Ba -bum -bum. Wake up dancing every single day. Bye. -bye.